Hello everyone and welcome back to another painting tutorial. My name is Hunter Fleury. I'm here to bring you a abstract landscape with mountains and a waterfall. Um, and I'm going to talk to you guys about my process and how I'm creating this painting. Um, this video is brought to you by Baker Hunt Art and Cultural Center along with the Charles H. Dater Foundation. So here we go. I'm at a stage right now where I am picking colors, where they're gonna go. I wanna emphasize the waterfall in this area quite a bit, add some sporadic color and movement throughout this area. And then I'm going to be blocking in really, um, still getting the appropriate colors where they belong. The feel of this painting uh, with the pastels that it has going on currently, I wanna mute that a little bit more. So some whites are going to be added. Um, and I'm going to do a mix of time lapses and also talk to you guys about what I'm thinking and why we're making those decisions in the moment. Uh, so now I'm going to employ a spraying method. Um, so I like to keep, especially when I'm working on a canvas of this size with acrylic, have a spray bottle uh, at my side at all times just to spray down the canvas, but it also has these nice drips and effects uh, that makes the paint blend just that much nicer. Um, so I'm going to continue to work um, kind of blending this area, and you guys can see that in uh, this time lapse. I used that last photo to kind of see where I was at in the picture. I wanted to see kind of the rule of uh, the golden rule. So the aspect ratio, I kind of have this sort of pattern going across the canvas and you can break it up into different quadrants, but um, I'm trying to make sure that each of those is balanced. I know that this side, I need to bring down a little bit more and bring closer to this way. And I know I want to expand this with a little bit more pink. Um, and then contract this yellow section. Um, so I'm going to do that now and you guys can watch my progress. So I talked about this in my last uh, video tutorial about painting every moment of your canvas really should be a painting on its own um, So in building up my canvas and the way I'm doing with this two inch brush at this point and adding these very vibrant colors um, Adding all these little drip marks. I'm making um, the canvas very unique all the way throughout so each moment that you see is on its own those happy moments that Bob Ross talks about and um, in my upcoming videos, I'm going to be start using a smaller brush and that'll start tightening some of these moments. Um, but a lot of these things are going to shine through in the end. I really like how little things like this come into play. It will get cleaned up quite a lot. And sometimes some of these things can be um, not the right moment for a drip, um, but who knows, maybe it's something that'll come through in the end or inspire a movement of the next stroke. Um, so I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for watching tonight um, and stay safe and stay creative. Have a great day.